my job. I tell you, I am so excited. Welcome, welcome, and again, I say welcome to the number one station in the nation, GMAP Broadcast Network, GMAP1.com. Yours truly, Pastor Kevin. I am here doing what I love because I love what I am doing. And, you know, I always get a little excited about this time because, you know, when we have individuals stop by, you know, kind of tell us who they are, what they're doing, all that great stuff. Today is no different because I get a little overwhelmed and excited about it. And, of course, it's also what I do for a living because I love it. Thank you so much. All right. Welcome to the GMAP Broadcast Network. And thank all of you for simply joining us here on today. And, of course, today is a special day because, you know, I have an outstanding young lady joining me on today. One of our featured authors. And I tell you. I love when I get the opportunity to speak with our featured authors because they get excited, I get excited, we get excited. Dr. Patrice J. Dawson is here. Good afternoon, young lady. How you doing? Good afternoon, Pastor Kevin. Thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity. I'm just excited about what God is doing in this Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, my, you know what? I always hear that, and I love it when people tell me that. And I thank you. I mean, it, it, it's real simple. I thank you for being here uh, just as much as you're thanking me for allowing you this opportunity. But I tell you, it's an honor, a privilege, and a blessing to have you here. Dr. Patrice J. Dawson is here on the GMAP Broadcast Network. It didn't kill. You know what? First and foremost, I got to do what's necessary. I got to let you introduce yourself. Tell us who you are. Tell us where you're from. Who is Dr. Patrice J. Dawson? Um, As you said, my name is Dr. Patrice J. Dawson, which stands for joy. And that is really uh, the banner of my message to choose joy and to spread joy. I am from South Jersey. Um, although I did live in Alabama for a number of years, and with the combination of those experiences and life itself, birth, it didn't kill, kill me, a memoir um, that God allowed me to write, and he literally gave it, just literally fell into my lap. He just showed me um, how to put it together, how to orchestrate it, and how to talk about you know all of the it's in our life. Mm. Um, I'm a mother of one child, and um, I support him in his autism journey. I do a lot of advocacy work, mm. and I just love the Lord. Mm. I love the Lord with all my heart. I tell you, 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 you said a mouthful right there, and of course, <laughs> I tell you, and I'm so honored. And of course, I know it had to be a challenge. I know it had to be a journey, and it continues to be. And and you know what? Let me ask you this: How was that journey? I mean. Was it a difficult process or it was something that you were just simply blessed to do? You set out to do it and it and you got it done. How was that journey for you? Well, actually, um, Pastor Kevin, I was trying to write a different type of book and I was mm. trying to write a different message and it just would not come together. I was trying to write um, something based off of my master studies about um, educational leadership and it just wouldn't come together. And then one day I was on Facebook and um, someone, my um, good friend, Donna T. Brown, uh, wrote a question. And the question was, but did you die? And uh, she made a comment that said, what we go through is meant to be a blessing to share it with others. Um, and I, I went to scroll. I kept scrolling. I, you know, I kept scrolling. But the Holy Spirit led me back to that question, uh-huh. but did you die? And the book, in turn, just really was birthed after that. And my reply was, it didn't kill me. Right. And so you have to think from, goodness, maybe since like 2015 to actually probably earlier than that, like 2009, I was trying to work on this other project. And it wasn't until 2017 when or maybe 2016 when that post was written and it literally just fell into my lap after that god just was yeah. showing you know showing me wow you know, wow now just like that now 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 is this actually your very first 
a book release or is it uh, a follow-up to something that you've previously done before? Um, it's actually my first release. You do, say, you do see second edition because the first edition I did not publicly release because we had to revisit something. So that's to differentiate. Is that's why it says second edition. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. It didn't kill me. Uh, of course, we have Dr. Patrice J. Dawson here, one of our featured authors on the GMAP Broadcast Network, GMAP1.com. All you got to do, stop by our platform, click on the tab that is simply titled Featured Authors. You'll see a copy of the publication I'm currently showing you on our television screen. Click on that copy and it will take you to the necessary location to find out more intimate information and details about the author as well as the publication. Now, you know, I know once again, uh, the journey had to be an, an exciting one, a challenging one. It was a journey for you. Looking back over that journey from beginning to where you are right now, what's next? What's next for you? Well, as a result of this, um, real briefly, so all of the, the, the it didn't kill me is all the it's that we have in our life that was meant to take us out. Mm. And so as a result of all the it's in my life, um, I don't want to give away too much, but um, a lot of illness, um, the transition of my parents and a few other things, um, it really could have left me in a dark place. But um, as a result, you know, it says it didn't kill me pressing during trying times and so what's next was you know i had to learn how to keep uh pressing to keep propelling to move forward and that's when i made the conscious decision to choose joy um i share that platform with my family i share it just about every day so what's next is as a result of this book each year since this release actually this um week is actually the fourth anniversary of this release but each year i make a journal um title around some type of theme of joy so we had uh joy you know joy cometh we had joy on the horizon we had joy for your soul so each year god gives me a different topic um about a planner in a journal to release so that's Mm. what's next um i would like to come up with a sequel and um actually i'm working on a book with my son so um god is just really keeping me uh busy you know what? It, it, it's 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 my belief, uh, and I say this and I share this with individuals all the time. Your destiny was determined before your delivery. Yeah. God has a plan for you, and the thing that we have to remember is we have to endure and accept the process. The process is never easy. Challenging yeah. times, you know, working with your son. I tell you, it's always going to be a challenge. Look at the challenge that Jesus went through during his walk here on earth. It was a challenge. They beat him down, spit on him, talked about him. They hollered, crucify him. As some may be talking about us, crucify them. We don't need them around. But I tell you, you endure the process. You embrace the process. Your destiny is inevitable. And I believe in my spirit that your destiny has already arrived. It didn't kill me. I tell you, that speaks volume. I'm so excited that, number one, you have taken time out to be here with us on this day, and I also want to thank you for accepting the invitation to be a part of our broadcast network family as one of our featured authors. We're going to continue to do any and everything we possibly can to, you know, present you and your publication to as many people around the world as possible. Our uh, partner networks are joining in. We are also being heard in over 176 countries. We appreciate each and every one of you who takes time out of your busy day to just stop by the GMAP Broadcast Network, gmap1.com. And I tell you, it is. It, 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 I always say this also, Patrice, that I'm like a kid in a candy store. (laughs) I wake up each and every day excited about going to work, excited about seeing what kind of journey and challenges God has placed before me on this day. And I get so excited that it's like I'm I'm just getting started. And you know how your excitement builds when you're just getting started to do something. 
Yes. Yeah. And I tell you, yes. I, I I mean, you know, so so I know that there's going to be plenty of individuals out there who is definitely going to show their love, their care, concern, and support and reach out and purchase a copy or copies, share this information with all of their followers, family, friends. You know, they're going to share it on social media, Facebook. I mean, hey, they share everything else on Facebook. <laughs> why not? Share, hey, why not share this also? You know, yeah. so I got to ask, how can your book be found? How can they purchase it? How can they receive it? Okay, so my book is, of course, on Amazon.com. It is also on Barnes and Nobles and Books a Million dot com. Also, um, you can follow me on Facebook at Finding Joy in the Press, and you can inbox me. Um, and hopefully soon, you can uh, find me on Spotify. Um, I do have a podcast. It is it is in hiatus, but it's soon to be uh, resurrected. But uh, finding joy in the press. And I just wanted to say something really quick, Pastor Kevin, if you don't mind. First, mm -hmm. I definitely want to give a um, shout out to Karen Adams because she said, Patrice, I need to tell you about um, Pastor Kevin, et cetera, and his platform. And then come to find out to know that you had been looking for me yes. because you had already heard my title. So yes. I was just in total awe. So I'm definitely grateful for that connection Amen. and then i just want to say to the listeners when you talk about trusting the process everything is a process we all have things that we have to go through that we necessarily yeah. don't understand sometimes and i always think about the olive you know that's where i get the press from because you know i always say this i think about the olive you know the olive in its natural state we cannot consume until it goes through a process that's a right. finding process then you find out that the green olive and the black olive is the same process, or the same yeah. olive, but it's been through a process. And I think about the olive oil, you know, so we don't get no oil until the olive goes through the process. That's right. That's because right. the heat is applied for the um, olive to, to, to release the oil. Yeah. And so we think about that. So the olive in its natural state is bitter for consumption, but when it goes through the pressing, we get the oil, and then we know that the oil, oh, my goodness. You know, I, I don't mind you know telling you. So we have to trust the process. So whenever someone talks about the process, I always think about the process of the oil. That's right. So Embrace the process. Yes. Embrace yes. the process. And, of course, yes, it is true. I had been, uh, even before I, I reached out and connected with uh, Karen, I was looking for you. I was trying oh. to reach you. And that was, it, it was amazing that it all came back around. And, you know, wow. I, and you're talking about the process, uh, uh, Dr. Patrice. And I'm going to tell you all this. We always talk about the individuals that do us wrong, talk about, gossip about us. You know, they, they, they you know, handle business the wrong way but embrace that that's a part of the process people need to understand that the good, bad comes with the good it's a learning experience all the way around and in order to reach your destiny embrace the process which is not going to be easy so don't sit back and bad mouth talk about disrespect, dishonor, dog out mm. the individuals that may do you, I, I want to say wrong or handle things with you in a negative way. You do what you're supposed to do. Pray for them. Hope and pray that God blesses them as well as those that are connected to them. And trust me. It will come around, not 5, 10, but 24 for you. He will yes. bless you because of how you responded and not reacted. I'm going to say that again because you need to catch that. He will yes. bless you because of how you responded and not reacted. When you respond, you think about it. When you react, you don't. Okay. I don't mind shouting. Amen. And, you know, I, 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 I receive that. Receive that because it is so yes. important. When I, yes. Yes. you know, uh, my son was killed and I heard that a young man had done it. Instead of being angry 
I embraced him, found out that it wasn't the individual, but when I thought it was, I embraced him, I hugged him, I prayed for him, and said, yeah, you made a mistake, it is not going to be easy to overcome, but you can overcome those challenges, but it has to start somewhere. That man sat there and cried like a baby because he received it. Trust me, accept the bad with the good, pray and hope and pray that God continues to look down on all of us, not just yes. us as individuals. Okay, now, of course, there are going to be many people out there who may want to reach out and connect with you on a more individual basis, maybe speak to you about some things that they may have coming up in the future. And before I say this, I want you all to know that coming soon, the uh, It Didn't Kill Me publication will also be placed on our Walmart platform. And we are not going to forget about Lilo GMAP Broadcast Network down here in the lower left-hand corner of everything in small print. But, you know, they tell me, uh, Dr. Priest, that small print is the most important print on the paper. So, yes, you know, hey, 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 I'm going to I'm going to accept that. And, and I want to remain right there. And of course, we'll keep you posted. And uh, we want people to reach out to you, to me. And when you do show your support via Amazon or anything else, make sure you take time out to go back and leave a review. It is so important for those reviews to be left and written. People want to know what you think, how you feel, your suggestions, your recommendations. People want to know. Dr. Patrice will appreciate it. I'll appreciate it. Where you purchase it from, they'll appreciate it. And those that are on the outside looking in, they'll appreciate it as well. So please leave a review. Before I let you go, I want to find out how can people connect with you if they wanted to reach out and speak with you? Why don't you share that information with us? Okay, and so if someone wants to speak with me, of course, they can reach me on my social media platforms. On Facebook, I am Patrice J. Dawson, comma, Ph.D. You'll see the uh, picture with the word joy. That's me. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at it's Treacy, I-T-S, T-R-I-C-E-Y, it's Treacy. And also, you can reach out to me by email, Dawson.Patrice at gmail.com. Uh, outstanding. And I tell you, Dr. Patrice, I really appreciate uh, once again that you are uh, taking time to be here with us. And, you know, you chose to accept the invitation. I'm going to continue to do everything I can to uh, present you and your publication to as many people. You have our number. We want you to use it, but I want you to call me. Don't text. Don't chat. Don't tweet me. Call me. Okay. Call me and let me know what we can do. To assist you while you're on this journey in any way, shape, form, or fashion. And I want you to know when you do that, the answer is going to always be yes. And you will never, ever have to ask me twice, okay? Uh, thank you so much, Pastor Kevin. And thank you. That was such exciting news to learn uh, that my publication will now be on Walmart.com. Thank you so much. Hey. Oh, God. You know God what? Your opening doors. I Amen. tell you, to God be the glory, because if it was me, I would have a completely different MO. God is mm -hmm. blessing not just you, but he's blessing me also to be able to do what I do. I love what I'm doing. That's why I'm doing what I love. All right. Well, I appreciate you. I'm looking forward to, I don't know, speaking to you again very soon to find out, you know, what you're doing, where you're doing, when you're doing it, why, and all that good stuff. Keep us informed so we can let the people know around the world. I I will most definitely will. Thank you so much. And once again, I am so honored to you, Pastor Kevin, and your um, platform and all of your colleagues that is airing this episode. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Thank you I'm so, so much. I'm going to bless them with your trailer, but then I'm going to play a special song just for you. And that song is me. All right? I want you to know. Okay. okay. Have a Thank wonderful, you. wonderful rest of your day. Be blessed and be a blessing. Looking forward to talking with you again soon, okay? Okay. Thank you, Pastor Kevin. God Thank bless you. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. God bless. Take care. All right. Dr. Patrice J. Dawson, one of our featured authors on the GMAP Broadcast Network, GMAP1.com. Yours truly, Pastor Kevin, and I am on the show.
inspirational, motivational, uplifting, and encouraging. Gospel music and production. Strength. 